Hi everyone, I'm Nick from TBT, www.airrifletuning.com and today I'm doing a video on garden guns. Now, the term garden gun, in the UK especially, when we think of a gun to use in the garden, we'll think of air rifles. That's, that's what we do, that's what we use. They're, they're brilliant for target shooting, pest control, whatever you want to use it for. An air rifle is the thing to have. Um, but... Elsewhere, garden gun is a term that's used to cover small bore, usually rimfire powered, smooth barreled uh, guns, shotguns effectively. So what we're going to do today is have a look at some of these. Um, I shoot everything. I love shooting. Um, air rifles usually, uh, run of the mill firearms occasionally, um, but anything out of the ordinary always catches my eye, especially if it's a bit crap. So what I've got here are three European garden guns. Um, they're all cheaply made. Until the late 90s here in France you could buy these without a license in a supermarket. They were just mass produced and put out there for people to use. The low power means you can use it around your crops, you know, your allotment, in the garden, in the shed, around the barns. It's not going to do any damage to the surroundings or other livestock with ricochets. So it's fantastic for what it is. But the ones I have here today, I have three different calibers and we're going to start off with this one here. You can see it's open, empty. This is an Anschutz 2-2 shotgun. Um, on the two, two on the side here, it's actually got written two two long shot. I think that's actually a reference to the chances of you actually hitting your target. It's 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 a bit unusual. It's well enough made. It's an Anschutz. It's it's got adjustable open sights on it, which is unusual for a smoothbore gun. But these can also be used with uh, two two long rifle bullets. So you know it, it's it, it's quite a versatile thing to own. Um, with 2-2 shot rounds, you may have seen them, they've, they've, they've been around for quite a long time. Usually people's experience of shooting a 2-2 shot shell is through a rifled 2-2 rifle. And what that does is, is the, the shot goes down, it goes around the rifle in, and as it comes out it just goes blah like that. 3 metres, 10 feet away, there's no group whatsoever. So there is this impression that 2-2 shot is completely useless. It isn't. It isn't. Through a smooth bore, you can keep a good pattern out past 10 metres. Not particularly strong, but a good pattern. So it isn't absolutely useless, it's just pretty much useless. But it's good fun. I mean, with 2-2 shot, it's good for... We have um, Asian Hornets at the moment. Asian Hornets on the wing, under 10 metres, it's, it's proper sport. Uh, also, you can shoot through here, apart from the 2-2 long, there are these things here, they're called uh, CB caps or Flobert. They're tiny little 6mm rounds with conical or ball end on them um, that just use the propellant from the rimfire from the uh, from the, um, the actual uh, actuator that would set off uh, the, the powder charge to propel them. They do about 18 foot pounds. I've tested them through this and through rifled guns, they are useless. They really are useless. But 2-2 long you can use through this, absolutely no problem at all. But for the garden, these little things here, this is a 2-2 short. So it's got a powder charge in there, it's just got a shorter case than usual, it's just a 28 grain bullet. These come out at about 60 foot pound, hardly any noise, nice and quiet. And at 20 metres, which for one of these with open sights in a garden is pretty much it, you can get a, a group, a group of three, three shots. I just shot about ten minutes ago, and they were under ten pence. So with open sights, a smoothbore barrel, twenty meters, sixty foot pound. For most allotments, that's going to do it. Put shot shells into it. You can use it for mice around the, uh, around the shed. Rats at very close range. There you go. Um, a little bit more about two two shotguns. If you're the same age as me or a similar age to me, you might have read Gun Mart a lot as a kid or as a teenager. And in Gun Mart there was always adverts for BSA 2.2 shotguns. And they are always between 5 and 20 quid and you can get them from single shot to 5 shot magazine, 10 shot, 15 shot. 
And it's like, what's that all about then? And then there was a company called Jaeger, or Jaeger, and they made uh, reproductions or, or copies of the M16 and AK-47, and they did those in 2-2 shotgun. Basically a semi-automatic, when you're allowed to have them, uh, a semi-automatic smoothbore 2-2, so you could own a replica semi-automatic AK-47 on a shotgun certificate. A bit of fun, um, but in today's world, you know, uh, an air rifle is probably more useful than this, but it's interesting, which is why I've got it. And put that one to one side. The next one I have here is another Anschutz. Uh, very similar in design, slightly different stock. I think this one's a bit older, smaller stock. Nice little schnabble forend on it though. Um, again, empty. This one is in 9mm. Now I've got several 9mm handguns and stuff like that, but this is a 9mm Flowbert. Again, it's a rimfire. Um, designed to shoot these little shot cartridges. They're a useful thing. They're subsonic for a start, so you, you, I think it's about eight grams, eight grams I wanna say, of shot comes out of these at about 600 feet a second. So again, it isn't noisy, it doesn't upset the neighbors. Through a smoothbore barrel like this, the pattern's quite good, and at 10 meters it'll easily kill a rat first shot every time. It's, it's, it's a useful little tool. Um, again, it does have adjustable open sights on it though, which means you can use these. It's another Flober rimfire cartridge, but this one's in 9mm. Uh, these, again, they're coming out around about, I think it's six or 700 feet a second. I, I did put it over chrono, it's running out of 40 foot pound, so whatever, whatever that works out to with the weight of the... So quite devastating at short range if you hit something. My test has shown so far the chances of you hitting anything past 20 metres with this is slim. So rifle in the barrel is something I might do, which is legal here. I'm allowed to do that because uh, these aren't licensed guns. Um, rifling it may help. It might not. I don't know. It's it's a lot of effort to go to just to fire something that's really quite expensive to buy anyway when the, the, the 9mm shot does the trick. So there we are, a little 9mm shotgun, single shot again, bolt action. Um, great for rats to 10 metres. Uh, they, they're used in orchards as well for birds in the trees but you know shooting birds I don't know I don't think we do that anymore certainly not man enough for a pigeon at anything past point blank range I'll pop him to one side then the last one I've got here is something a little bit more that we'd be familiar with in the UK um, this is very nearly a 410 but it's chambered for two inch so rather than the two and a half inch or the three inch magnum that we're used to, this is chambered just for a two inch shell and that classifies it here as being a 12 millimeter, because that's the diameter of that part there, a 12 millimeter shotgun. So it doesn't require a license. These are made in France. This is made by a company called Manu France and these were made by the, I want to say million, but I don't know how many, 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 and they are everywhere. Very cheaply made but functional. Um, usually, the problem with these is usually when you get hold of it, because people didn't need a license to buy it, because it wasn't an expensive gun in the first place, they usually just sat in a shed and gently moulded away. This one was pretty rusty when I got it. The inside of the ball was okay, but pretty rusty on the outside, and the woodwork was terrible, but I stripped it all back, cleaned it all up. It is full choke, and with these little little cartridges here and by the way these little cartridges may only be a two inch cartridge holding it doesn't tell me how many grams on there eight oh no this is the eight gram one here we are eight grams of shot in it but over the chrono they're coming out 1200 feet a second which gives the total power as being just under 400 foot pounds but again because it's a shotgun once it's got past 20 yards or so everything's dispersed it's safer than firing a 2-2 long rifle. Um, it's a useful little tool. You can use this on pretty much anything uh, that you would find in the garden up to rabbits at close range. And that kind of brings us 
up to where normal 410s would start with a two and a half inch, but that's for a different day and a different video. Um, I've got a Webley and Scott, which you'll see I've got a video on that, so I'm having a bit of a, a, a man crush on that gun at the moment. But I thought I'd show you these little, little low powered shotguns because they're interesting. They have a use, although limited. Um, but I hope you enjoyed seeing them anyway. We'll do a pattern test at some point at 10 metres and possibly 15 metres, depending on how it gets on. But for now, this is just an overview of what they look like. Thank you very much. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.